My family, Prince Harry and Meghan's chief spokesperson, Ashley Hansen, has launched her own firm called Three Gate Strategies. And my family, I am so happy for Ashley because now she'll be her own boss, running her own farm, running her own company. I am so happy for Ashley Hansen, 100%. Super, super happy for her. However, I do feel sad for Megan. I'll tell you why. Because it's like now Megan has to even come out and uh, issue a statement about an employee in my family who worked for her that she's now launching her own farm, launching her own company. It's like Megan is now, she now has to do that now to explain why this staff member is leaving. Now, why is this happening? My family, it is happening because UK media have made up so many lies about Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, labeling her a difficult boss, a dictator. All those lies to paint Meghan in a negative light to paint Megan as someone who is a difficult boss, someone who is difficult to work with or work for. And my family, first of all, and I said this a couple of days ago, the son owned by Rupert Murdoch, I found out that they were my family, you know, cutting off the workforce in the United States of America. My family. Yet nobody accuses bosses or the owners of the Sun Tablet of being difficult or demanding. Kate Moulton. Let me use Kate as an example. Kate has lost five private secretaries in four years. In four years, Kate has lost five private secretaries. Five, five, five in four years. You don't see UK media calling her demanding. You don't see UK media, you know, mentioning the number of people that Kate and William have lost who have worked for them. You don't see that happening. Why? Because they have a deal with the palace that the heir and the heir's wife must be protected. But Harry and Meghan are fair game, right? That's the deal that they have. Prince William, my family. Let me use also Prince William as an example. William, and you can look up everything I'm saying yourself. Prince William, my family, has lost his previous equity. He now has a new equity. My family, you know? He lost his uh, equity called Rob Dixon, my family. And now my family, he has a new guy called, uh, you know, Mike Reynolds, my family. Who my family is now working for Prince William. After losing his previous equity. If this was Harry and Meghan, and you and I know, both of us know, already Harry and Meghan will be called difficult bosses. UK media will be saying, oh, are Harry and Meghan demanding? Are they difficult to work with? But because it is Prince William, let me read you the headline. Prince William's new equity is just the latest military hunk to work for the royals. <laughs> That's how they cover things. My family, you know, and this happened just last month. Just last month, my family, on 26 September, this my family story was revealed that William had lost his previous equity. Nobody is asking if William is difficult to work with. Nobody is asking that. But if this were Harry Meghan, you and I both know the headlines. My family, just in uh, March 2023, I want to read you this headline from the Daily Telegraph, my family. 
you know, a carnival also called expert called Victoria Ward, my family, wrote this and I quote, PR guru rejects job as princess of Wales new private secretary. Alison Caulfield is said to be uncomfortable <laughs> with the publicity, so decided to stay with Jamie Oliver, who my family is a chef. My family. You know? And the straight-talking PR guru hired as the Princess of Wales' new private secretary has opted to stay with Chef Jamie Oliver rather than take up the role of working my family or going to work with the future Queen of England. My family, let me all ask you a question. Who rejects working with the future Queen of England? Who can turn that down? Not many people are not just turn that down. They are turning that down to work for a chef. My family, to work for a professional chef. You are turning down a job to work with the future Queen of England, my family, you are turning that down to continue working with her, my family, and you're saying that, you know what, I prefer to work with Chef Jamie Oliver. <laughs> and nobody is going to ask this question, is Kate difficult? Is she demanding? UK media are not going to ask that. Instead, they're going to say, oh, you know what? She was uncomfortable with the publicity. <laughs> My family, I have seen what uh, private secretaries of uh, senior members of the royal family do. My family. For example, that guy for called uh, Lee Thompson. His work was to brief and leave stories about Harry Meghan to the press. And counter negative uh, Narratives about Prince William and King Milton. That was his job, my family. Now, my family, you know, so really, this job here, first of all, it won't make you, you know, there won't be so much publicity on you. There will not. Yes, you're going to get some phone calls from Wikimedia calling you time and time again to ask you for, uh, for this story, to clarify this and that. But my family... It is not a job whereby, you know, all the publicity will be on you. No. So the excuse that was used by my family, the palace, to explain why Alison, you know, Caulfield, refused to continue working for Kay Moulton, that's nonsense. It's a bunch of nonsense, my family. Saying that, you know what, you know, she is uncomfortable with the you know, prospect of having such a high-profile position and decided to remain under, under the radar. It's a bunch of lies. First of all, it is good for your CV to my family work for someone who is also high-profile, my family. If someone came to me today and said, Brian, I need you to work at the office of the president as his chief of staff, my family... Of course, I'll go and work there. It is good for my CV. But my family, Alison Caulfield, turned it down. But of course, you won't hear UK media talking about how difficult Kate is. Of course, of course not. Of course not. And really, the reason why I made this video is number one because I'm happy for Ashley Hansen. I'm happy for her. My family, if you are someone who's an employee, I think anybody desires, you know, most people desire to have their own farms, their own companies. It is normal. It is not unusual. But for UK Media, anything about Harry Meghan, UK Media, my family, you know, turn into negativity because they have an agenda against Harry Meghan. And that is what I wanted to discuss. Before I read you what uh, Megan has said. My, my family, now here is what has been happening. Why 
UK media feel the need to paint Harry Meghan, mostly Meghan, as someone who's difficult to work with or work for. My family, you need to first of all remember this. Number one, carnival of so-called experts. Many members of the Rorota have confessed that they were not given any kind of access to Megan. I've had Angela Levin, my family, and countless others saying they were never ever granted any kind of access to Megan. I've even had that guy called Arthur Edwards, you know, saying the same thing. A friend of Camilla and Charles saying that they were not given any kind of access to Megan. And that they as members of the Rorota had requested the palace to allow them to meet and, uh, you know, sit down with Megan and talk to her. Remember, my family, how, you know, things work in the palace. You give UK Media access to you, they give you good press. You brief against another member of the royal family. In exchange, UK Media will give you good press and smear that person that's what William did to Harry and Meghan. He smeared them, Harry and Meghan, to get good press for himself. That's a game that Harry and Meghan refused to play with the media. Harry and Meghan refused to play that game. And Harry is the one who kept Meghan as far away as possible from the toxic British tabloid media. He kept Megan as far away as possible from members of the Rorota. The family, those who cover, you know, members of the Royal family for a living. Harry is the one who kept Megan away from them. Because Harry has never been able to stand UK media. Never. But do you know who UK media blame? My family, for all of this, or even not having any kind of access to Megan, or even my family right now, Prince Harry, or even right now, Prince Harry, they blame Megan. Not Harry, they blame Megan. Because Megan is the one that they're hell bent in trying to destroy. As they try to, my family somehow, uh, you know, cuddle Prince Harry because they want him back. My family, because they want Harry to come back to the royal fold. They are desperate to have Harry back. Now, my family, these issues about, uh, oh, this guy, these people are difficult, it is because UK media feels scorned. The tabloids feel scorned by Harry and Meghan. They have been denied access to Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan refuse to work with the UK tablets, they refuse to wine and dine with the toxic UK tablet media. And the tablets are angry. So here's what they're doing. UK media are trying to paint this narrative full of lies that, you know what, Megan is difficult to deal with. You know? They are trying to paint this lie that Megan is difficult to work for or work with. So the problem was not just, you know, them, UK media. My family. They want to absolve themselves from any family issue or problem by saying, you know what? You see, it's a pattern. You know, Megan is difficult to work with. That's the message that UK media want people to have of Megan. That's the perspective that UK media want people to have about Megan that she's difficult to work with. My family. But remember where all this comes from. It comes from bitterness, from the community, because Harry and Megan refused to work with them. Refuse constantly to wine and dine with their abusers. My family. And UK tablets are very, very Vengeful. Very, very vengeful. You see how angry they are and how they still are very, very angry because Harry Meghan 
my family, refuse to give tabloids who abuse them access to them. You see how angry they still are. More than four years later, we are almost approaching the fifth year ever since Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family. Early next year, my family, Harry and Meghan, will mark five years after they step back as senior members of the royal family. But still, UK media are complaining that Harry left. That Harry left the royal fold. They are still complaining about that. Close to five years later, after Harry fled the UK. My family, they are trying to paint this idea, this narrative full of lies, that it's Harry and Meghan who are difficult to work with. Not them. Not UK media. My family, that they are in the problem. That's the perspective that my family, UK media, are trying to create. And that is what I need you to understand. And my family, and they're so bitter. Remember, they also don't want anybody to be working with Harry Meghan. Remember, they target everyone, everybody who works with Harry Meghan. They target everyone. Everyone who has ever worked with Harry Meghan. Or even right now are working with Harry Meghan. I am sure, 100% sure, that they must have been approached by Daily Mail. And promised huge amounts of money in exchange for any kind of information about Harry Meghan. I am sure of that. Of that, I am sure. Of that, I am sure. And the goal of a bully is to isolate the victims. Which is what UK media have been trying to do to Harry and Meghan. And that's why anybody who even takes a selfie with Harry is targeted by the UK media. Like what happened to Prince Mario Max. Who simply took a selfie with Prince Harry at the Living Legends of Aviation, my family, you know, Hall of Fame event. Just because he took a selfie with Prince Harry, he was targeted. The same thing is what UK media won my family. Number one, they can't stand it seeing other companies working with Harry Meghan. So they're trying to soil Harry Meghan's reputation. That way nobody wants to work with Harry and Meghan. Have you asked yourself why they're doing that? Remember, at the same time, they are doing that to Harry Meghan. At the same time, they are, they are painting Harry and Meghan as difficult to work with or work for. UK media are contacting Harry's team, telling Prince Harry, Harry, please, we would like to follow you and cover your visit to Colombia with Meghan, please. As Carnival of Sokol Expert Rebecca English revealed. My family and many others also revealed. If Harry is so bad, why do you want to go and follow him to Colombia? Why are you following him to New York? Why? Why? If they are so bad, why do you want to follow them whenever they are going for my family on a tour? Why? Why do you so desperately want to be in Harry's life? Why? For what? For what? Because my family, remember in the royal family, the tabloids and the royals have a deal. Whereby, number one, before any other person have, has any kind of access to royals, UK royals, British royals who are tax funded. Before anyone is given any kind of access to them, my family, number one, access must be given to members of the Royal Rota, first of all, before anybody else. And even if Harry and Meghan have stepped back as senior members of the Royal family, you and I have both seen how UK media feel entitled to do everything pertaining to Harry and Meghan. They feel entitled even to Prince Harry. They feel like they own him. You know? They feel, like, they feel like they own him, that he is their personal property. And my family, he must uh, exist to please them, UK media. Not his family. No, Meghan, not Archie, Lilibet, UK media first. My family, UK media and the farm first. 
and William and Charles, people who have treated Harry appallingly. All my family, his life. People who've gone out of my family, his wife, Megan, his own kids also. They still feel, feel that Prince Harry is their personal property in my family. Even right now, even to this day. So my family, whenever you see UK media trying to paint Harry and Megan as difficult, mostly actually Megan is the one that they target so much. Megan as difficult. Remember my family, it comes from a place of bitterness. Because Harry and Meghan have rejected and keep on rejecting to work with the UK tabloid media. They keep saying no to them. And that's something that UK media don't like. That's something that the tabloids don't like. They don't like being told no by Harry and Meghan. They don't like hearing the word no. You know? And UK media prefer to blame Megan for Harry rejecting them rather than themselves who attacked Megan, bullied her, insulted Megan, said bad things about Megan and even his kids. They prefer blaming Megan for Harry's rejection of them rather than blame themselves. Their abuse, their racism. Their attacks on Harry's family, Megan, Archie, Lilibet. They prefer to blame Megan for Harry leaving rather than themselves, my family. They prefer the poor thing that is Harry and Megan who are difficult to work with or work for. But UK media are not the problem. My family, UK media here are the big problem. Companies hire employees my family, or workers, to work there for three months. You know? My family, even my uh, my own uh, girlfriend, my family, was working for me at a company, a big company in my country, for six months. Six months. My family. And then the job was over, my family. You know? And then she looked for another new opportunity. So my family... If it was Harry Megan who my girlfriend was working for, they'll say, oh, you know what? That person, you know, has only worked there for, for, for six months. It, me it means that, you know what? They, their boss must be difficult. But of course, this uh, talk, my family, this negative narrative is reserved for Harry and Megan by the media. Because they were rejected by Harry and Meghan. Because Harry and Meghan rejected and keep on rejecting UK media. Constant um, demands that my family, Harry and Meghan, invite them in. Allow them into their, my family lives. You know, let me read you, my family, what has gone on with Ashley. Now, Ashley, a media and communications veteran who has served for years as chief spokesperson for Prince Harry Meghan has launched her own PR consultancy named Three Gate Strategies. Hansen will retain, you know, Meghan and Prince Harry as clients in the new venture. And the company name draws inspiration from noted poet Rumi who wrote, and I quote, before you speak, let your words pass through three gates. Is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Hansen will continue oversight of the international team advising Harry and Meghan's philanthropic work and creative projects through their banner, Actual. She'll also work closely with Meghan on new business ventures. Three Gates will present high-profile individuals and institutions across entertainment, tech, and finance. Hansen joined Harry and Meghan shortly after Harry and Meghan, you know, fled the UK, my family, and moved to California. She oversaw the launch of Prince Harry's best-selling memoir, Spare, and Meghan's podcast archetypes, as well as the premiere of the Netflix docuseries, 
you know, Harry Meghan or Netflix. You know, Artwell will be served in house by Miranda Babot, Desha Tank, Kyle Bullia, and Charlie Gibson, based in LA and London. Hansen began a career as a producer at Good Morning America in New York. And she later transplanted to the West Coast and served as the longtime comms head for Megan Ellison's Anna Pana, you know, pictures. She later served as comms head at United Talent Agency before a stint at Universal Pictures as a vice president for the filmed the family group. And she resides in Los Angeles with her animator husband, Todd. My family. So Ashley has uh, is now launching her own company. But do you know what the carnival of so-called experts, my family, you know, are saying, my family? They are saying that this is the blow to Prince Harry Meghan. They're saying that my family, this is a, my family, you know, blow to Harry Meghan. The Daily Express is saying that Harry Meghan's fresh humiliation as AB quits after wading into Raw. My family, this woman has been very clear. Very, very clear. She has even issued a statement. She has even issued a statement saying that she's beginning her own company. She has launched her own company. She has launched her own farm. <laughs> but despite that, UK media have turned this into negativity to once again continue with their narrative. Oh, it's Harry and Meghan who are difficult to work with. It's Harry and Meghan who are being humiliated. One person else has, has left their employee. My family... How many people have the Daily Express lost? <laughs> How many people have uh, the Daily Express, my family, you know, lost? My family. How many? My family, you know, reach the company behind the Daily Express, my family. Just, uh, you know, a couple of uh, months ago, actually my family last year. Revealed, my family, this. That uh, Rich, the company behind the Daily Express, put 13 staff members, my family, at risk of redundancy last year. And my family, this year, Carnival of so-called expert Palmer Richard, who has worked there at the Daily Express for a long time, lost his job, my family. But how dare Harry Meghan, one of the employees, begin their own company? How dare they? How dare they? You know, I want you to understand the vendetta against Harry Meghan. I want you to understand, most actually Meghan, in this case, honestly, is Meghan who's the target here. So, I want you to understand the vendetta that they have ongoing against Meghan. That is what I want you to get. This vendetta against Meghan that UK media have ongoing uh, my family is, is ongoing against Megan. Whereby they refuse to let this woman live and work in peace. My family, Megan, has even issued a statement about Ashley launching her own farm and uh, saying this in a quote. We are so proud of Ashley, especially as a female entrepreneur. We look forward to having her focused expertise on our business and creative projects and her continued oversight of our communications team. My husband and I are excited to be alongside Ashley as she builds something extraordinarily special with her farm. Ashley also said this and I quote, all this came about after I was approached by other clients seeking the high-quality counsel. 
that I have provided to Harry Meghan. I am incredibly grateful to the Duke and Duchess for their continued trust, their unwavering support and belief in my new firm has been meaningful and is a testament to their leadership. I knew when they first hired me that they were giving me the opportunity of a lifetime and I couldn't be happier to continue working together. Despite that, what has the Daily Express said? They've said it's humiliation for Harry Meghan after an AD quits. So, so my family, you know, first of all, as I've said, I feel sad that uh, Meghan must even feel the need to, to be compelled, really, to even have to issue a statement. When a staff member, my family, who, you know, worked for her, decides to launch her own company, my family. The desire of most people to start their own company. My family, when it's Harry Meghan, you know, when they are, my family have worked for Harry Meghan, and now my family leaving to start their own company, UK media want to paint it in a negative light towards Meghan in particular. This is difficult demanding, which are all a bunch of lies. Are all a bunch of lies. And you know what? To the media, Harry and Meghan are not gonna work with you. I repeat, Harry and Meghan are not going to work with you or for you. And you've got to accept it. And you've got to come to terms with that. Harry and Meghan are not gonna work with you. And you can't force them to work with you. It's never gonna happen. You can't expect to bully Megan, abuse her, her kids, and they still expect to be invited into Harry and Meghan's lives. When Harry and Meghan were back in the raw fold, UK media were abusing Megan in the morning, afternoon, evening, every single day, every single day. As they were trying to abuse her out of Harry's life and force her to, you know, go back to America on her own. Now, my family. When they were abusing Megan, they still feel, felt entitled to, to even demand access to Megan, despite what they were doing to her. When Megan gave birth to Archie, for example, what did UK Media do? They say, Megan, we pay you pose. Come out. These are people who bully Megan throughout her pregnancy. But they still felt entitled to her child and to her. That's how they felt about Megan. That's how they treated Megan appallingly. And even right now, they still treat Megan appallingly. But then they also demand to be given access to Megan, to Prince Harry, even. That when they are going, my family, on an on a trip, my family, on an international trip, that somehow Harry and Megan, my family. You know, UK media, go to them and ask them, you know, ask Prince Harry in particular, ask Harry, you know, to Harry's team. They go to him and then ask Harry, Harry, can we cover, can we come and cover your trip to Colombia? After what you're doing to them, you still feel you have rights over them. And there lies the problem. There lies the problem. And despite Harry and Meghan always saying no to them, they refuse to accept Harry and Meghan's rejection. They prefer to paint Megan as difficult to work with or work for rather than blame themselves for Harry Megan not wanting to work with them. Let's face it. That's the issue here. Let's be honest. That's the, that's, that's the issue here. Kate has lost five private secretaries in four years. You don't see them calling her difficult or demanding Open your eyes and see the agenda and vendetta against Megan. Even that Hollywood reporter hit piece. The same modus operandi of the Wikimedia. Oh, you know what? Oh, Megan sends email, emails at 5 a.m. in the morning. How could she? You know. And my family, one thing is always common. It is people they claim 
have worked for Harry Meghan, who are insulting Meghan, and not the other way around. Because from the, I can tell you one thing, and I'm sure also you've noticed the same thing as well. Even those nameless and faceless sources, my family, who attack Meghan and paint her as difficult or demanding, one thing is common that I have noticed from them, they throw insults towards Meghan. Or my family is saying that Prince Harry, oh, you know, Harry is, 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 is kinder, he's good, you know, my family is not, you know, is not bad, but they be Meghan in a negative light. And that's the same, same strategy that the farm has employed with Meghan being the main target. Even right now, they are trying to abuse Meghan out of Harry's life, even right now as we speak. Using lies as a weapon to target Meghan. Lies. Meghan, please stay strong. Please, I beg you, stay strong. Stay strong and don't let them break you. Stay strong, don't let them break you. William lost his equity, my family, just last month. You don't see my family, you can be counting the number of staff that William has lost, which is plenty, by the way. You don't see that happening. My family, it is high time that people open their eyes and understand this. If you are launching a company or even starting a company, you know, there are people who come in to a company and leave in one year, two years, or maybe only three years. It depends. There are those who stay with you for many, many years. My family, there are those who stay there for many, many years. It is normal. It, nothing is unusual about that. But of course, when it's anything about Harry Meghan, my family, even, you know, Meghan, Closing our own cardos, and it's also trivial. Something that should not be in the news will make the front page. Megan closed our own cardo. Any, anything minute about Harry Megan, something small about Harry Megan, that should not even be in the news, my family, ends up in the news. Because you can media turn anything small about Harry Megan into something big. And they have a vendetta against Harry and Meghan. They refuse to accept Harry and Meghan's rejection of them. My family, it is high time that they accept that Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them. Harry and Meghan have every right to choose who they want to be in their lives and who they don't want to be in their lives. Harry and Meghan have every right right in the world to choose. And clearly, Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with the UK tabloids. And the tabloids to stop blaming Meghan because Harry wants nothing to do with them. Stop blaming Meghan. Stop blaming Meghan. It ain't Meghan's fault that Prince Harry wants nothing to do with you. Stop blaming Meghan for it. Stop it. It is your fault. It is the fault of you who abuses Meghan. And Prince Harry. It's because of you. Your actions. Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with you. And you've got to accept it. You've got to accept it. My family. What we are struggling with here. Is this reluctance. From UK media. To accept that Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them. Now, my family, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Badana and Doria Ragland. And all of you, members of the squad at home, he never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. And may God bless each and every single one of you, my family. There is nothing, nothing that the firm can do that will ever, you know, make me turn on Megan. Nothing. Even someone said that every positive good news about Harry Megan is turned into negativity by the UK tabloids. We all know why Ashley is leaving. She said why. But yet, UK media continue with their negativity and their narrative. Harry Megan don't want to work with you, Daily Express. Daily Mail, The Sun, The Mirror. Accept it and leave. Harry and Meghan alone. Leave them alone and let them live and work in peace. 
my family may god bless you all and stay tuned to the next video love you also forever and may no weapon for against harry megan archie and also little bit diana hello members of this company tv first of all i want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel we don't take it for granted that you support this channel i want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices supporting prince harry and Meghan, showing them love love will always triumph over evil and for that i say thank you good will always prevail over bad thank you so much for all your support thank you so much for joining this community this amazing community of zesco family tv i love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and i wish you all the best may you have a great great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.